Morris said, who Phil told you is a road racing specialist, Donnie Richardson, his crew chief today. Let's go down to Steve Burns. With Donnie Richardson, his crew chief. Donnie, what is Boris saying about his race car? He hasn't said a word so far. He just said at the start of the race that uh, he was going to try to cruise here, take it easy, not abuse anything. And so we have a little more race car left at the end. And uh, right now he's just winding laps down. He hasn't said a word and uh, he's real consistent with the lap times. And take care of this thing and we get this Federated Auto Parts car up front when it counts. Thank you, Steve. We're always interested in what Boris said. So he's got some damage to the front of that car right there. I know he must have run over some uh, debris. Take a ride with him. These are the S's right here. Very, very challenging part of this racetrack. Now he's going down to the right hand turn 11, which sets him up for the little short shoot here. What you see ahead of you is the horseshoe shaped turn 11. Slowest part of the racetrack. A lot of guys go to first gear down here, Mike. About 30, 35 miles an hour, something like that. Very, very slow part of the racetrack. Boris said, obviously has his sights set on that man, the 29 of Kevin Harvin. The engine in this car came from out here, Bill Moropoulos, who used to build Kevin's engines when he raced on the West Coast and grew up in Bakersfield, California. Whoa. Oh, that's the 56 of Danny Burson. Oh, and he's into contact. the tires. Person out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and well, we do have a caution out now. That's the first caution of the day. It comes out on lap 15. Person into the tire barrier. Let's take a look again, Phil, at what happens to him. Yeah, that's the tail end of it right there. He actually got a little bit loose. Looked like he overcorrected, and the thing turned, spun around to the right. And uh, fortunately, the tire tires were there. That would that's a lot better than hitting a concrete barrier. But uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to. He's not going to be able to drive away from that one. So the day probably done. Hey, Kevin Harvick's in the pits. Down to steam now. And they discussed making changes on Kevin Harvick's race car, but he was afraid any change would affect the handling of the car. So it's right side tires only for Harvick. And he certainly has an advantage here with many Winston Cup crewmen from Richard Childress Racing making the stop of the 14 races on the schedule this year. Only three of them will require pit stops. So this is one of their longest races of the season. And that is going to be an advantage, and not to add to the fact the experience that Kevin Harvick had. Robbie Gordon, boy, it is he made his way up through the field. 30 cars he's already passed here. No service done on the Gordon machine. And there's Brendan Lamar. We documented his trouble earlier. We saw him changing an air cleaner. He just now has started this race. 15 laps down. So disappointing beginning, and there's our pole sitter, Todd Souza, who is now back out in the lead as we're under caution here. So Souza has taken the lead. The pole sitter out front, Kevin Harvick, has made his pit stop. Welcome back to Infineon Raceway. We're going to move ahead a little bit, but before we do, we want to catch you up on some action. Sousa did take the lead for a while. Here's Eric Holmes. He finished third in this race last year, right now running second in the 62 car. Now on lap 21, Kenny Shepard, who had a great run here a year ago, goes off course. Runner up last year, turn 11, again, the slowest part of the racetrack. You see a lot of guys get down there, use a little bit too much brake, get wheel hopping and spin around. David Gilliland, unfortunately, has some transmission trouble, and he had been hoping for a great day. Oh, yeah, big win last time out at Irwindale, second second series win for him. Steve Belletto is in the top ten in points, stopped out on the course, and that's going to hurt his finish today. That brought out the second caution. So a tough break for Steve Belletto. There's another full course caution, as you mentioned. Here comes Todd Susan. You know, I talked to Todd earlier today. He said he tried to rent a Winston Cup crew, and he had one lined up, and they backed out for the last minute. They had some extra work to do, so this is his guys doing doing a pit stop here. And there are some Winston Cup guys helping out Kevin Harvick. As if he didn't have enough strength in that car, he's got a great pit crew helping him out. And on the restart, Holmes in the 62 car, the leader. Jim, there's Jim Engelbright right here in the second position. 
Holmes going for the title of the series this year. He's third in points, four top tens in five races. Now he's going to come right in the pits here. This is a strategy a lot of guys have. Instead of pitting under caution, Bill, as long as they're close to the lead, they can pit. They can even change four tires, get back out, and not lose a lap. Then if the caution comes out of everyone else pits, they've got tremendous track position. Engelbright pitted, and that gave the lead to Dave Brown. Here's Dan Holt now leading because Dave Brown had the same pit strategy as a lot of the other guys pitted under green. You get in that pit window, as soon as you're in it, these guys are on pit You know, road. we saw Jeff Bodine win Watkins Glen a, a number of years ago by that same exact pit strategy. And what a tough break for Robbie Gordon. We showed you a minute ago, he made up 30 spots. He's out with transmission trouble. Just got that ride this morning, shaking hands with uh, his crew and his team. The Howard Ford spins the zero car right there. That, that, he put down a lot of fluid on the racetrack. That's going to necessitate another full course yellow. And by the way, Howard Ford was driving the Chevrolet. <laughs> and now and we come back around, and Kevin Harvick regains the lead after everybody comes down pit road. And now we're ready for a restart again, ready to get this race going on lap 36. So we saw Kevin Harvick pit for the second time on the previous caution flag of this. So he actually stayed out on the racetrack and has great track position. Great track position, fresh tires, and Kevin Harvick. Just lap, Daryl Lamore, you're on board with him right now. We saw Daryl have trouble earlier and spun out. Kevin hasn't had much trouble today, that's for sure. He's got four fresh tires on. He's pitted the last two caution flags, so he, sh he should be done for the day. There's another spin. That's Brian Germoni in the 89 turning around. We get going fairly quickly, but at that he's going to lose 10, 15 positions. It's these cars are so tightly bunched right now. Germoni won in Phoenix earlier this year out of Windsor, California. A new look to that car. We saw that car earlier this year, and it was solid blue. It's a much of a different look for Brian Germoni. I like the way that car looks. There's another car off course. That is Lamore, who has had kind of a wild day today. <laughs> And Greg Voigt as well, he is stopped on the course. There's Daryl Lamore here coming through the S's. Pretty hard contact with a tire barrier there again, but that's still better than the alternative. Well, we're under caution uh, once again at the Snap-on Jelly Belly 200. Kevin Harvick is your leader. Racing here in Sonoma, Mike Hogwood here along with Bill Parsons and Steve Burns. We're ready to go green. and. Let's see what Kevin Harvick can do, and even more importantly, what can Boris Sand do, who's now right behind him? Got a great road racer, Boris Sand, right behind him. He got a little damage on the front of his Federated Auto Parts Chevrolet, but uh, let's see if Boris can hang with Kevin here. Not, not many people have been able to this race. All right, ready to take the green, and Kevin Harvick's going to get a bit of a jump here. He's got a pretty good, he's got about eight car length lead, and they're just barely at the top of the hill. Harvick really smooth on this course. You know, you, you wonder, did Kevin Harvick run this race to get some experience for Winston Cup, or did he do it just for fun? Well, I think probably a combination of both. And against his own team, uh, Ed Barrier is his crew chief from back in Kernersville, North Carolina. They run the truck that Kevin runs. So uh, I think it's, uh, you know, he's got a long relationship with Snap-on out here. So this is obviously a Snap-on sponsored car. So, And plus, he, you know, he's a racer. And he wants to race whenever he can. You know, the Winston Cup Series is going to have an off weekend in a week or so, and he's going to be up in Milwaukee racing a truck. So Kevin Harvick, who is from Bakersfield, California, now makes his home in Kernersville, North Carolina, leading this race. And he has definitely been the dominant car here in this event today. 